What's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Are you thinking of building in Ghana? Yes or no? All right. Today I'm going to give you some free tips when it comes to building in Ghana, especially with uncompleted buildings. I had a question on my YouTube channel and the person asked me, Echo, I came to Ghana, you took me around and I saw a lot of uncompleted buildings. Why do we have a lot of uncompleted buildings? Now this video is going to show you or explain to you why Ghana has a lot of uncompleted buildings. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson, I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Hi, right, welcome back. So first of all, most Ghanaian workers do not have this large sum of money sitting at the bank okay the minimum wage for most Ghanaian workers is just minimal so it is difficult for a Ghanaian worker to save and say hey i have saved this amount of money at the bank and that is what i'm going to use it for so one the main reason why you see a lot of uncompleted buildings is that people take time to build especially with government workers or with people who don't have large sum of money to build. So what they do is that we go to the banks, maybe take a loan of 20,000 to 30,000 Ghana city. And that amount can maybe buy some blocks, buy the land, uh, assuming you have the land already, so buy some blocks um, of about 2,000, 3,000 blocks, cement blocks, and then they will dig the foundation. So mostly that amount can build up to like the foundation level and maybe two or three courses on that property, depending on the number of rooms or the structure of the building. If it's a two bedroom, then I think uh, you may go up a little bit, but if you have two, three, five bedrooms, then you are looking at only that amount saving you for the foundation. Then we have to wait for um, the loan to be deducted. So if it's gonna be a period of two to maybe four years, then after you get to that level, you would have to wait so you you are able to pay off that loan and then you go for another one build it to a certain level you wait for the payment to be done and then you go for another one so mostly that is why you see a lot of uncompleted buildings here in ghana because people don't have large sum of money and they want to build at a certain pace all right so let's move to the second reason why you find a lot of uncompleted buildings here in ghana which is the legal issues yes that is one of the main reasons why you see a lot of you know uncompleted buildings because i will go buy a land thinking that i've done all the researches that i have to do and then before i start working i see another person on the same land claiming to have the same um document it means that the person who sold the land to you or to me didn't do the right thing so mostly with legal issues when i have the same document on the same land you have the same document on the same land then we have to go to court if we happen to find the one who sold the land to us then he or she or the family will be the best people to resolve this issue but aside that straight to the court and the court will put injunction on all of us don't go to the land don't go to the land until we are settled with that so if i have already started like some happened to my dad in um Koforidia in the eastern region of ghana uh, when he was actively working uh he's now on pension so when he was actively working he bought a land in Koforidia, and then he got to a time that we wanted to go and you know put a fence and everything and we got there and somebody has already put a fence on it claiming that the land belongs to him we went to the court we went there we went there and I think my father lost the land. I don't know what happened. So there is another issue, which is the legal issue. Now let's go to the third one, which is family issues. Yes, we have the legal issues. We have family issues. Assuming that I have a piece of land and I am building and I've gotten to a certain point and I die. If I happen to make a will, then whoever has that part of my will would have to continue but if i don't make a will and then i leave it open nobody knows who is going to complete the land or complete the building for another person to come and enjoy no it doesn't happen like that people want to be self-centered you know sometimes so if you have a family and then you don't make a will and then you die it is difficult for them to say okay I'm going to take care of the uncompleted building and finish it. And then the rest of you will move in. He will say, hey, you need to bring money. Assuming the others don't work, they don't have money, 
then it means that that building is going to be left unattended to. So there are family issues that also put some of these situations up for certain buildings to be uncompleted or unattended to. The third one, which is no funds at all. Yes, some people start a project. Maybe they were working, actively working. It got to a time they had an issue and they had to be laid off work. Now there's no money coming in. And if you're not working here in Ghana, mostly when you're going for bank loan or any other loan, uh, either you're, you're working with the government or you're working with a private institution which is recognized, or you would have to uh, bring a collateral. And most of us don't have it because you don't have it. That is why you're going for the loan to go and build. So most people leave their housing or their structure on, 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 unattended to because there's no money coming in again they started they got to the window level and then something happened and the money that was coming in stopped coming so therefore there is no need for them to continue at that point most people will sell the building yes i have a lot of people who have even contacted me just yesterday that hey echo i have a building this way that way i'll make a video and let you have it that echo because i went through some issues and i needed to leave the country I want to sell my property it happens like that some people sell their property because they had issues and they don't want to stay in Ghana no more because of certain experiences that they've had they rather sell the land or they rather sell the uncompleted building and leave the country so these are some of the reasons why people don't really complete their structures I have a place in my community or the school that I work uh, when I moved in first I saw this building coming up it got to a time they stopped and then they started a new project and then that one it was completed because it was from an NGO but the one that was started they stopped it because when inquired about why they stopped and now the building is uncompleted I'll show you a video I was told that one family claims to own the land be the custodian of the land and another family says no this is our land Therefore, if they are building, then they started building a teacher's quarters for us to, to go stay in. But because of these family issues, this one, I'm not even talking about the family within the family. This is like different families, different clans. So they come and say, hey, where the building, where you are putting the building is not supposed to be there. This is our property. That is your property. You might also have one, but where the building is, is not supposed to. So now those people who are trying to help build it, teachers' quarters had to stop. And now that place has been there for the past 14 years that I started teaching over there. So these are some of the things that makes people don't continue building or leave their buildings unattended to or uncompleted. Another reason why you get people doing that is they were doing it already. They were building already and then they found themselves in prison. Yes, it might be either in prison or they might have an accident, uh, they might be incapacitated, so therefore there's no funds coming in for them to continue what they are doing. And when it happens like that, the best way is to leave it. So like I stated earlier, these are some of the reasons why uh, you find a lot of uncompleted buildings here in Ghana. And let me tell you what, there is the negative side which i've just told you because you leave the building over there nobody's using it nobody's building on it and it makes the land just get wasted but the positive side is that some people just go around looking for uncompleted buildings and then buy them mostly uncompleted buildings do not cost as much as completed buildings yes because the person is either in dire need of money to maybe organize a surgery or travel around or do other projects or no more interested in staying in that particular area. So therefore, they are eager and they are ready to lease these kind of uncompleted buildings at a kind of cheap, not so cheap prices. So we have people who walk around looking for people who have already started a building and they've left it unattended to and then they buy it. And one interesting thing is that buying uncompleted buildings in Ghana basically or usually comes in our Ghana cities. Yes, it comes, the amount is stated in our currency because there's nothing in the room for you to do, um, estimate and say, okay, when you go to the market, this is how much you're going to buy. So you're going to um, 
you know, converted into dollars. No, it is only mostly completed buildings that are stated in dollars. But most people, they go around looking for a completed building and then they buy it and then they build it to suit how they want their building to be like. Yeah, so I think this is a cool tip that I'm giving you if you are planning of coming to Ghana to build. Yes, you may want to try first by looking out for uncompleted buildings and then let go into it, go deep into it, why it is uncompleted. If it's a family issue, stay out of it. If the person needs some money to travel, then you may consider it. If the person needs money to do other projects, then you may consider it. But hey, thank you very much for checking me out. This month is a month of commitment. Yes, August today is 3rd of August 2022. And I'm coming your way with this beautiful video for you to know that, okay, me coming to Ghana, this is what I can do in terms of building an apartment or building a structure or building a house here in Ghana. Thank you very much for checking me out. Put up a comment and let me know how it is in your country. Do you have a lot of uncompleted buildings in your country? Okay, echo, yes or no.